Hello there. Uh, my name is J.D. Aaron Raman, and today I would be presenting the website I've created for almost two weeks for our integrative programming and technology class. So first and foremost, um, I want you to know that my website is already uploaded online, so you can search it if you have internet connection. So here's proposed stories that I need in order for my GitHub to work. So from this list, this is all the things that are included in my website. So first and foremost, let's go to our landing page, the website go, so here. So my first landing page is called the welcome page, so yeah. It's my main menu technically, so first and foremost, ayan, ma-introduce kayo, welcome kayo to, our, to my page, and here, my, min, my hamburger menu tayo, to show the list of the parts of my site. So ayan, we have the introduction, personal webpage, um, class schedule, and so on and so forth. So, for my code here in my main menu, It's nothing special actually. Oh, so, there you go. It's just a clean background, black background. With. Um, there's nothing much really. This thing right here is for the icons. This icons, uh, the thing you can see here, is for those things. And yeah, that's it. And then here is my href to call on the other parts of my website. And here's the div classes, um, the list, the checkbox. This thing, the welcome thing, is a checkbox in which you can press change its colors. Or to stop the colors. So yeah, here it is. And uh, there's nothing more. So yeah. Let's move on. Next, we have my personal web page. So, what I did here is just an introductory of who I am and what I do as a student. So, here it is. The design here is also integrated as if I'm a programmer. See? Um, there's this indication that I could type and so on and so forth. And yeah, contact form. It actually works if you want to. So. And then you set each wrap so that you can go to my connection pages. Here's my link for it. It's another simple website. There's nothing much into it. So yeah, my toggle navigation. This is this part in which you can go wherever you want in this part of this website. And then there's nothing more into it. So this part, um, this is where we call the background of my web page, and this is for my skills. This is for this one, and this is for my contact page, so that you can contact me anytime. And as I said, in, it works if you want it to. You can just type everything there, and I'll receive the message in my Gmail account. And that's it. Let's go next to our to our class schedule. Um, there's nothing much here. It's just a table with a plain back white background. Again, um, that's the design I intended it to be to be monochrome, so it's easier to look at. And then a few other colors to highlight the different types of subjects that we have in our class. So yeah, there's nothing much with this website again. Um, and this one has a very... Yeah, it's not that... Yeah. So next, here's the code for it. This part is the list so that I can call on the time on the side. Wait. So, make sure. Hindi siya kita dito kasi 
it's not that responsive yet. So, ito yung times aside and then this part is the one dito sa ating uh, body itself. The divider in which kung anong part ba siya ng day and stuff. Yun lang. So, um, so forth. And next, balik tayo sa ating welcome page. We have this inspirational quote. So this one, you just need to press space in order to have different types of inspirational quotes you want on a daily basis. And again, I use the monochrome theme in order that it would be very minimalistic and very bright and very on to the point. Supposedly, there's a video here, but I didn't intend on putting it again because it doesn't fit the design. Plus, I think the inspirational quotes speak for itself. So yeah, here's my code for it. Sources. So yeah, nothing much. This title, the header. This is the first part of the uh, code. The first code that you would see. This is the part in which it guides you that you need to press the space button. And then I use script in order to have this type of changing faces into it. So yeah, there it is. Um, you might be wondering where did I get all the code? So somewhere here. Okay. So this is for my design again. I use the font for Serif Pro to make it more sophisticated. And then with the code, there it is. It's from here. I know. Yeah, that's for the font. Oh, this is it. Oh, this is one. Yeah, this is this one. So, next. After that, we have our favorite application. So, I haven't done it yet, so you'd be met with this oopsie page that tells you that it's still not fixed, so you need to go back to our welcome page. Then next, we have our favorite song. So this is my first song that I like. Lizzo, you can next it. I have 10 songs here. You can also play them, but I'm playing a background music. So there it is, it plays. The next... Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the codes. So here's the codes for my favorite song. Sources. So in this part, I just built the website. This, their paddings and everything. This title page and stuff. But for my music to play i put it here in the script see i called it from my github account yeah i uploaded songs and then put it here that's all and then next lastly here's my photo gallery um they're just made of strips and yeah there it is it moves on its own right on cue and if you want to take a closer look you just hover into it it would stop spinning you can see it in order for you to see it for the code so it's not responsive yet so you see it Crappy. Yeah. So here's my sources into it. Here's how I put it, all the photos here. I just called it again from my GitHub account. I just uploaded it in GitHub and then called it by via source. Yeah. Image source. And then for the style, here it is. I use black from behind. And then there's nothing more. There's a lot here. This part is for it to move from up and down, down and up, 
and then I know there's no JavaScript in it over here. That's all. And that's it for my website. There's nothing more into it. Thank you for looking into it and God bless.